Omi Oji is a powerful character in the Kasamori Hisa game. Thanks to the talent's tree, she is capable of creating the most outrageous card combos, synergies and infinite plays that will decimate your enemies in one turn. In this video, I will be showing you how to create the infinite void build that can give you unlimited attacks and armor with your favorite sorcerer. In order to get this build you will need two specific talents available to you on your tree. One is to the death, which is on the general tree and it will put a card in your hand whenever your hand is empty on your turn. The second one is void leak, specific to the omiyoji's tree and it will reduce the action point of a random card in your hand by one whenever you play a void card. If you've got these two talents available to you, then you should work your way towards unlocking them for this build. Another talent that is not essential but can be really helpful is proper usage, which grants you 3 armor for each card you place into the void. If you're playing your void cards infinitely, then your armor will soon stack up. You can potentially ditch all your armor cards to tighten up your deck, but it might cost you a lot of coins. Also some defense cards will go into the void, so you might as well keep those. And the final talent that is not essential for this build but that will grant you strength stack up to higher levels is Curse power. That will give you one temporary strength for each card you place in the void on that turn and it will disappear once the turn is finished. However, if you're playing infinite cards and killing enemies within one turn, your strength will never go away. This talent will be the nail in the coffin for all those enemies and it will make Omiyoji incredibly powerful. When it comes to cards, some will play a huge role in ensuring you have an infinite turn. One of the main cards you need is Hasty Action, which is a skill card that costs 0 action points and it will go into the void when played. It will show you the top 2 cards in your library for you to choose. The chosen card will have an action point cost set to 0 and the other cards will go into the void. The upgraded version of Hasty Action will show you the top 3 cards from your library, increasing the number of cards that get sent into the void, but you'll see later how this can be for your benefit. I will definitely recommend you have as many copies of the this card as you want, because every time you play it, it won't cost you an action point. It will increase your strength and armor, and it will keep reducing the action points in the other cards until all of them are free to use. The other card you will need is Reverse Abyss, which is another skill card that has a cost of 2 action points. This card shuffles the void back into your library making all those void cards available to be played again. However, this card itself will go into the void, so you will actually need at least 2 of these so that one can take the other one out of the void and back into your library. The upgraded version of Reverse Abyss will have a cost of 1 action point, but because of Void Leak it will probably cost you 0. Once you have the above all set up, you can just keep placing cards into the void and putting them back into your library with reverse abyss. That will bump up your armor infinitely and make it impenetrable and it will keep reducing your card's action points to zero until all of them are free. The attack card I would definitely recommend you put into your deck is Death Grasp. Death Grasp has a finale effect which will only be triggered if it is the only card of that type in your hand and it will deal extra damage equal to the damage you have already dealt during your turn. That can be absolutely devastating to your enemies. It will be easy to trigger that effect when To The Death puts that card in your hand, or you can just play all the other cards until Death Grasp is the only one left. The upgraded version of Death Grasp also has a save condition, which will keep that card in your hand even when your turn is ended. The other card which is extremely useful is Inferno. Inferno will deal damage of 6, plus the number of cards you have in the void. However, the upgraded version of this card will deal 8 damage plus 2 times the number of cards in your void stack. Couple that with strength once your void stack has built up and you will be easily dealing over 30 damage every time you play this card. And remember I said hasty action upgrade will put more cards into the void and that will be to your benefit? Well, this is how it synergizes with Inferno. Build up your void stack with a hasty action and then unleash it with Inferno. Other cards that are non-essential but that will always add up to your build are the Shikigami cards. If you play Demon Strike cards, then they will trigger your Shikigami dealing additional damage or healing you during your infinite turn. Shikigami cards will go into the void so that means more free stacks of strength, armor and card cost reduction. And remember that any damage dealt during your turn will add to death grasp. So deal as much damage as you can and leave death grasp for the very end. You can one shot the final boss that way. As you can see, Omiyoji's infinite void build is a real beast when it comes to damage and you will be finishing battles in one turn without taking any damage or letting the enemy play. This is one of the most fun builds builds I had in the game so far, and although you have to have luck on your side in order to pull it off, there will be ways of having a variant of it which can still ensure you finish your run. I hope you enjoyed this and I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below about what builds you are managing to build and how you are having fun with this game. Also give me a thumbs up as it helps with the algorithm. I will see you next time, take care.